Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Battle Bouncers. In today's episode we're going to take a look at Bruin. He is the last of the three heroes you get at the beginning of the game. So uh, we will find him in my list. I can't actually afford to do anything at the moment because I haven't got enough gold. Uh, but his little story says the protector of the stolen scepter and heir to the beast's kingdom although he is still wild at heart he was raised at hero's keep and has really taken to the life of feasting and dance dances especially the feasts okay so this is this is how you get him at the beginning of the game. So um, he's uh, a common. His class is defender. His power is six thousand. No, his power is twenty eight. His uh, health is eleven. Total damage is three point three, and balls. Uh, you get free. Okay, so that's how you get him at the beginning of the game. Then his skill is a whirlwind, and um, it's uh, um, push back, push back the closest enemies in three target columns up to three rows Dipl displacing enemies receive 10% more damage for two turns the cooldown is five mana is nothing so that's good and initial cooldown is nothing so you get to use him straight away um, level is one cooldown, yep and damage taken is 110 Okay, so let's uh, cover that up again. So I've got him to... Um, what level have I got him to? 35. So I've got him to level 35. Yeah, and his power is 6,178. His health is now all the freeze. 3,333. Total damage is 553. And... We're up to the six ball mark. Uh, Whirlwind is now the same, which is push back the closest enemies in four uh, target columns, not three, um, to four rows and not three. Uh, displace enemies receive 29% more damage uh, for three turns. And I've got it on level 5 at the moment. Cooldown has also gone down, so you're only waiting 4 turns now. Uh, it still uh, it doesn't cost any mana, and you get it straight from the off. Uh, damage taken is 130%. It will go up to 135. Okay, so that's that one. And that's his active uh, uh, skill. His passive skill is Vanguard. Increase the block amount by five okay so I've I'm still on level one and the block amount is still five I can't afford to upgrade anything at the moment because there's a few other heroes I would like to upgrade but I can't I need more gold we need more gold right okay so let's see him in action so we're gonna uh, Elven Wood, we're going to do boss stage. Oops. And we're going to select the three heroes you get from the beginning. Where is Lillian? There's Bruin. And there's Lillian. Lillian. And then we will take Selene and Shade. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we um, we get to use Bruin's uh, skill straight straight away. So 
because it, uh, one, it doesn't cost anything, and two, you get it right from the off. So I'm just going to demonstrate what it does. So basically, it pushes them three blocks there. It pushes them back, uh, and now they take uh, extra damage as well. Oh, I can't believe I missed that bomb. Okay, so we've cleaned up. Okay, so we're going to use Logan's firebomb. And we're going to complete that stage. <laughs> Uh, I planned that, obviously. Well, of course. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. Okay, so... Um, uh, we breezed through that a bit easy, so we'll move up to the next level. So, Temple of Justice. We'll do the boss level there as well. Using the same team. We just want to try and use uh, Bruin's ability as much as we can. Uh, we have to wait five turns. Okay, we won't use it this go. So we're just trying to get rid of everybody, pick up all the mana we can, like so. Right, so I'm going to allow... I'm going to allow everything to move forward a touch because I want to push it back. Because the worst time I'm doing it at the moment and at this rate I'm actually going to get rid of it all so it also says enemies so it doesn't say blocks it only says pushes back enemies I can't believe I got rid of that <laughs> okay I, I also planned that Okay, so we'll move up another level and do the boss there. Okay. Right, let's see if we can push these back. There we go. So them four lines there, they all got moved back four lines or four squares. They go with that lot. Now we've got to wait five turns before we can use it again. But hopefully I'll be able to allow these to move forward. So we can use his ability again. Don't really want to do too much damage. Right, the ball is going to get a bit okay. So we get more people, right? Okay. Oh, he's been stunned. <laughs> oh, it's just not my day, is it? Okay. Um. Does he come back this time? Or is he stunned for two turns? I think he's stunned for two turns. So after this, hopefully. No, really? He's stunned for three turns? Well, I'm just gonna. He better not get stunned again. I suppose he can't, can he? Right, okay. So here we go, we get to use his uh, skill again, so these four lines on the uh, left hand side, they should push back four. So we use his ability, and off we go. I don't know why it didn't do the fourth one then. Maybe I pressed on the wrong one. But uh, right, so, and then they actually take extra damage for two turns. And... I'm actually going to say he probably won't get another go because I could probably finish this uh, boss 
before his ability comes back. But at least we got to see him in action. It's handy because it doesn't cost any mana. You get it right from the off, although you might not need to use it right from the off. Right, let's jump up another level. Last go. See if we can make this work. Okay, so let's do that. See if we can get into the boss's chamber. Okay. Alright, so what are we going to have? What's it going to give us? Now, it'll be interesting to see if he actually pushes the boss's back. Yes, so he, he actually pushes the boss back. It's not just it's not just the minions. Um, it's actually the bosses as well. So that is also a bit of a bonus. Although we've now got to wait. We've now got to wait to um, use it again. Well, that's one down. <laughs> uh, we've got two more turns. Right, we'll take a little bit of damage just so we can use his ability again. Right. One more go. One more go before... We can use it again, so we're just throwing it out there. Right, they've got all almost to the big, uh, the bottom of the screen, so now we're going to try and push them back. Oh, that's also interesting. So it actually pushes ghosts that are invisible back as well. So that's good to uh, bear in mind. So when you're in trouble and they're right at your door. You might be able to push them back and give you another little bit of breathing space. Let's try and finish this off now. There we go, all finished. So we got to see Bruin's abilities there. He's not, not a bad uh, hero to have at the beginning. He's also not a bad hero. You might be able to use him in... Um, the tournament as well because uh, it might be able to push uh, push the uh, enemies back a bit to give you a little bit more time so yes he's um, he's okay he's definitely okay in the lower levels I don't use him a lot now uh, although I have been trying different uh, loadouts um, but yeah, that is Bruin. He is the last of the three heroes you get at the beginning. Um, next week, I've got to decide uh, which hero to do a video on. So any suggestions, leave in the comments below. But that is where I'm going to leave this episode. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.